bread and butter and pineapple jam. Is that what this film's really about? Yes. I thought it was about Queensland industry. Of course it is. How do you think we get the bread, the butter and the pineapple jam? We make them from the things we grow, I suppose. That's it. So let's start the story from the beginning. The most valuable single crop grown in Queensland is sugarcane, grown on the coastal plain mainly between Cairns and Ingham, from Mackay to Ayr and around Bundaberg. The total yearly harvest is worth about 17 million pounds. A lot of work is entailed in the production of sugar. The cane must be cut and carted to the sugar mill, where the raw sugar is made from it. The mills are the sugar factories. Here, the sticks of cane are sliced up and crushed a number of times to obtain from them as much as possible of the sweet sugar juice. The juice is cleaned and then boiled to remove most of the water content. The syrup then forms crystals of sugar which are bagged for transport. All this work costs money and must be added to the cost of the crop. The raw sugar that leaves the mills each year is worth 22 million pounds. But these pale brown crystals must be refined to make the white sugar we usually use. This is done at the refineries. These stacks give some idea of the great quantity of sugar which is treated in this refinery at Brisbane. Most of our sugar crop goes to the other Australian states. Some is shipped overseas, but the rest is used in our own factories and homes. It's usual to say bread and butter, but we in Queensland must put the butter first, for the value of the butter produced in Queensland each year reaches 14 million pounds. Dairy farms like this produce the milk and cream and it's taken to the factories where the butter's made. But we don't use all the butter in Queensland. We export much of our 14 million pounds worth to other countries and the rest we use in our homes and in our factories. Our bread comes from the Darling Downs wheat crop. All of Queensland's wheat is grown in this area. The climate is mild due to the elevation and the rainfall is good. The yearly harvest is worth seven million pounds. Much of the wheat comes to Brisbane, of course, for export or for milling into flour. The small part of our wheat crop that is made into flour each year is worth, after manufacturing costs are added, two million pounds. This flour is sent to every part of Queensland for use in the homes, to make cakes, scones or damper, or for use in factories. The machines in this Brisbane biscuit factory alone turn out many hundreds of packets of biscuits a day made from Queensland flour. But the most important uses of flour are bakeries where our bread is made. There are many hundreds of these as every town of any size at all has its own bakery. They make bread to the value of two million pounds every year. Queensland's daily bread. Well, that accounts for the bread and butter in the title of this film, doesn't it? But what about the pineapple jam? Well, let's have a look at some of the other important crops we grow on our farms in Queensland. 
Next, after wheat, comes fodder crops, hay, lucerne and green feed of every sort. You'll be surprised to know that each year we grow two and a half million pounds worth of fodder. What's it used for? To feed the cows who give the milk that makes the butter we spread on the bread that's made from the flour that comes from part of our seven million pound wheat crop. Next in importance after the fodder crop comes the maize crop. Much of it is grown up on the Atherton tableland. Each year Queensland harvests about one million pounds worth of maize. It's sold as a food for stock, made into breakfast cereal and into corn flour. Yes, pineapples. We're getting close to that pineapple jam now, aren't we? Queensland's pineapple crop is sold each year for almost one million pounds. It's the most valuable of all our fruit and vegetable crops. But not far behind is our tomato crop, worth almost three quarters of a million pounds. There's a large tomato growing area around Brisbane and another around Bowen. The banana crop is just a little less valuable than the tomatoes. The pumpkin crop, almost as valuable, well over half a million pounds. And the potato crop usually just on the round value of half a million pounds. Crops that are each valued at just under the half million pounds worth each year are tobacco, peanuts, citrus fruit, and apples. The fruit is distributed to the markets of Queensland and the near states. Some of the crop is held in cold storage for the off-season, but what cannot be used fresh or stored goes to the canneries and fruit factories. It's at the cannery that our story links up again with the 17 million pound sugar crop you remember we said that the sugar is used in our homes and factories. All the food manufacturers use sugar, but jam makers and fruit preserving factories use very large quantities of it. It's the sugar syrup that preserves the fruit, and the large amount of sugar in jam that makes it keep almost indefinitely. But let's get back to the pineapples. Here they're arriving at the cannery. They're peeled and cored by machinery and sliced ready for the tins. The syrup is added, the tin sealed, and then passed through a steam cooker. Tin pineapple is used here in Queensland and in the other Australian states. But much of our pineapple output goes overseas. It's very popular in America and earns many thousands of dollars each year for Australia. Alone, the preserved pineapple and pineapple juice must make up a considerable part of the one and a half million pounds that our preserved fruit and jam is worth. So remember, when you have a slice of bread and butter and jam, our largest fruit crop is the pineapple crop. One million pounds worth of Queensland pineapples are picked each year. The bread is part of our seven million pound wheat crop. The butter comes from Queensland dairy farms. The factories produce 14 million pounds worth of butter each year. The sugar in the jam comes from our biggest single crop, sugarcane. As it stands in the fields, it's worth 17 million pounds each year.